<sighs> yeah, alright. Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the WWE Elite Shockmaster. So yes, here we have the Shockmaster. Uh, this was an SDCC exclusive, although that's not how I picked it up. Uh, they had it on a really deep discount from Matty Collector. So I picked it up that way. Um, I thought it was a reasonable price for a gimmick figure. Uh, the aftermarket prices are a bit high, though, considering this is basically just a joke. If you're not familiar with the Shockmaster, I shall inform you. Uh, Shockmaster is Fred Ottman, who's much better known for being uh, Typhoon and Tugboat. And basically, um, he came out looking really silly and fell flat on his face in his first appearance. And it's known as like one of the greatest botches in all of uh, wrestling history or whatever. And they made a figure out of it. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool if you're a fan of that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and zoom over the articulation, sculpt, paint details, all those sorts of things. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison. Of course, here we have Shockmaster. Here's our standard Marvel Legends 6-inch Cosmic Armor Iron Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. Of course, Shockmaster is the uh, sort of standard WWE Elite size, which means he is bigger than Marvel Legends figures, and of course much bigger than any 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. Now let's get everything else out of here and just look at the Shockmaster. Moving on to our 360 spin, as you can see the Shockmaster is wearing his weird sort of furry black sleeveless coat. That is removable, but I imagine you would want to display him wearing it, as without it it's just sort of Fred Ottman not wearing a shirt. Uh, the entire upper torso is bare, just a big, bulky upper body. Then his lower body is a sort of blue pants. They have an unpainted stripe down the side, as I believe these pants are used for something else. And then sort of uh, pointy-toed gray shoes. All in all, he certainly looks like Shockmaster, so no real complaints there. Let's go ahead and zoom in on his head sculpt. Alright, head sculpt wise, we'll start with the helmet, which is removable. It is a very Stormtrooper helmet reminiscent, as I imagine they didn't want to use an actual Stormtrooper helmet for copyright reasons. But uh, in reality, he was just wearing just flat out a silver sparkly Stormtrooper helmet. This is a slightly different looking silver sparkly Stormtrooper helmet. It's made of sort of a, a flexible rubbery sort of substance. I would advise not flexing it too much, as I imagine that would make the glitter and stuff fall off of it if you did that too much. But uh, it is pliable if that really matters. And then you get your uh, Fred Ottman head sculpt underneath that. Uh, it's slightly different than the one that you get for Tugboat and for Typhoon, as his mouth is sort of open in a slight um, expression of some description. Uh, all in all, the head sculpt is fine, with the exception of the fact that whenever Fred Ottman was Shockmaster, he actually just had a mustache. I can't tell if that was the case in the actual... Shockmaster incident because you can't really see his face that well but whenever he was playing Shockmaster after he had taken the helmet and stuff off he only had a mustache so that's a slight inaccuracy doesn't really matter but I thought I'd mention it otherwise it's a perfectly acceptable head sculpt uh, you've probably seen it before now let's go ahead and zoom out and look at some articulation articulation wise you get pretty standard WWE elite articulation Ball peg in the head, it goes forward and back, side to side, the coat and the hair do get in the way a bit. Ball joint shoulders go in and out, forward and back, bicep cut, single joint elbows, wrist rotation and hinge, big abdominal joint, waist cut, hips go in and out, forward and back, upper thigh cut, double joint and knees, and then you get a little ball peg in the ankle so that pivots and rotates and stuff. So you should be able to get him into a pretty standard amount of poses for WWE Elite figures. Now Shockmaster comes with no accessories other than the uh, clothing related stuff which I've already covered. So let's go ahead and move on to the packaging. Packaging why Shockmaster comes in the standard WWE Elite packaging with a little bit of a twist. As you can see he's packaged backwards and upside down there through the window. Shockmaster Elite Collection flashback. And then on the back you get a, a torn out piece and you can see him sort of falling. I meant to imitate the falling through sort of thing uh, there on the back. And then you do get a picture of Shockmaster as well as a little description there. As always, these are good for in or out of package display. So yeah, Shockmaster. Alright, the rest of for Shockmaster. So until next time, goodbye. Thanks for watching one of my videos. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like the video or subscribe if you would like to see my future content. If not, run away. Run away and never return. 
Also, feel free to support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash VRreviews, follow me on Twitter at VenomRaptor09, or follow me on Instagram at instagram.com slash VRreviews. Thank you, and goodbye.